happy whatever day it is. Huh, I'm not sure. I think it might be Friday. I think it's Friday. The shells are bouncing off the walls. They're getting ready to leave. Look at this. Doesn't that look just like this? See the resemblance? I've got to trim this yet. Uh, and dig the, uh, the Play-Doh out. There we go. A little more manageable. Not as many pokey bits. So this uh, quick and dirty mold making technique is just uh, well, it's just what it is. So I call it it's quick and dirty because you get you get more or less the shape you want. But you don't have to trim and it. Uh, fast I could have well if I used enough harder I could have had this ready in half an hour and uh, been using it but because that shape yesterday was the exact same size same as in here that's what I want because this is the part that fits onto the the uh, carburetor so that's exactly what I wanted that's exactly what I've got I've got a bunch of cleanup to do on this uh, probably just quickly file it I might sand it who knows uh, but ideally this is what I'm gonna go for so my new one the exterior diameter is just a little bit smaller than this so I'm going to uh, build it up a bit and you know what I might do hmm maybe cast plug my my hole in the front and uh, cast uh, around this give it a quick sand and we can uh, just build up the outside there's a little trick. I'm gonna cast on top of that. I'm gonna put down some packing tape as my base. And I'm not gonna have to worry about fiberglass all over this piece of wood. Put that there, build my little uh, walls around it with uh, with this stuff, and then we'll uh, we'll pour thickened fiberglass around it. One of the things I'm going to do, right? Build my thing. I'm going to put a little strip of uh, of uh, silly buddy, uh, <laughs> Play-Doh. No, it's not even Play-Doh. It's uh, plastazine. I'm gonna put plastazine around the bottom of it here, so that I don't get uh, get it coming in side. Plastazine is really tough to work with today <laughs> because it's uh, 34 degrees Celsius and that's uh, making it tough to work. Everything is just squishy, super squishy. Found this at four city surplus. It's like 250 it's uh deleron or something so it's great for building stuff with so that's what i'm gonna use it for take 12. it's too <laughs> so hot today that i can't i'm having trouble making my uh my <sighs> play-doh Modeling clay is what it's actually called on the package. Um, I'm having trouble getting it to stay in the shape I want it. So, build my wall a little thicker. Another quick and dirty mold. So I'm going to make some thickened uh, fiberglass. Just pour it in around there. I'm thickening it with microspheres. They're little white things powder. Anyways, 
that's what this stuff is on the top. I made it at the end of that last batch. I made a little extra to uh, just thicken up the, the parts where the bolts go through. Anyways, I'm going to clean this off a bit and uh, give her. So that is my thickened uh, uh, fiberglass resin. Anyways, I'm just going to pour it around and we'll let it sit and do its thing. I've cleaned my piece uh, and given it a sand so that this is going to stick. Okay, while well, we're waiting for that to chooch, we can uh, do some other stuff. Oh, what I'll do is I'll let this sit overnight and uh, harden up really hard, and then I'll uh, take it to the uh, belt sander probably tomorrow, the file, to shape it into that shape. Well, after yesterday's uh, varnishing uh, success, and uh, it was a very good success, it's, this stuff turned out really nice. Look at that. Yeah, you can tell that those are varnished with a shop towel. Probably not. Anyways, uh, I forgot one piece of wood I had to make for the the boat. This is for the McGregor. This will go on the lazarette hatch so the tiller won't hit the, the locking mechanism for the, the lazarette hatch. So it will it'll ride up and hit this instead, which is a lot softer than the lazarette hatch. Let's get our uh, quick and dirty uh, stuff going. I have to remember to pick up more shop towels because I'm almost out now all these quick and dirty projects. I'll give that 20 minutes now, sit and uh, do its thing, then I'll come back and hit it again with more of that stuff. I have to take this to the boat. I'm going to try out uh, something with my fish finder. I'm having a difficult time with the mounting the fish finder, which I use as a depth gauge. I don't care about fish on the, the um, McGregor, I'm going to try and use this and attach the fish finder to the hull. And if that works, and it shoots through the hull, then I will uh, come up with another solution, maybe silicone or something, so I can uh, do it that way. Okay, I've done my second coat on that uh, piece of wood here. And pieces there. I'm not going to touch either of those. Two coats is going to be finished for that. I'm just going to move this out of the way now so I can get attacked. Motor. Let's put the motor together. I'm going to put the exhaust pipe on. Look at that exhaust pipe. Chip the paint here though when I was putting on the uh, collar. So I'll have to touch that up. Got that on there now. Let's continue with the other stuff. Let's see, what else can we put on? Oh, the handle. Let's put the handle on the handle. Okay, it looks like this is going to go on really tightly. I don't, I don't even know what size this is. Let's hope. Let's try for the best, or hope for the best, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, that's got it. There's a little, jeez. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that coming off anytime soon. Got it right down to the end too. So what is that? Find our bolts, a little bit of Loctite on, and put it together. Oops, I 
close it on. I just thought I didn't put the throttle on. How am I going to get it on? But I'm lucky the uh, throttle cable, it comes apart. So I can put it on after. I'm in pain to get that off again. Wow. Look at that handle. Okay, let's uh, think about our throttle here. So it's got to get on. Look at that. That's going to be perfect. Uh, I'll put the throttle back a little bit. Look at that. Throttle. Now, here is our carburetor. I looked in there. It's nice and the cylinder looks nice and clean. Putting this on, I'm looking at it and going, why is there a plastic washer? I don't think that goes there. Unless, does it fit inside there? Doesn't matter. Just gonna put it on without one. It's a locking nut. So I'm installing the uh, new fuel line. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that when you get it on, you don't have any kinks. You wanna make sure it goes smoothly. That's a little bit kinked, but maybe if we turn it. Hmm. Well, Shorten it. Look at that. No kinks. Perfect size. There's just that much that was making it kink. So this motor came with uh, this. This is a little device that holds extra shear pins for the prop as well as cotter keys, or uh, cotter pins. So it goes in here. It holds two pin or prop things and two cotter pins. I'm gonna drill another hole so I can put a third pin, uh, shear pin in because I've got three. And uh, yeah, make another hole in the center there. factory looks like it was put there from the factory there we go there's our little uh tool kit <laughs> and it just goes in here and it's pushed in just the little rubber knob that holds it in this is the plug that kit just came out of uh out of here here's my replacement a little bit shorter uh, in the stem, not in the threaded part. But it's the same plug, just it's an NGK. I'm surprised, well, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. The motor probably came with an NGK, because it's a Japanese plug. It's a Japanese motor. Champion. America. Just added a little dielectric grease to that because this cap's kind of old and crusty, so anything's going to help. Maybe I'll give that a little squeeze tighter too. I'm going to touch up where I scratch the paint. Just going to use a little brush. do fine okay so uh, mark my used spark plugs I keep spark plugs for small engines if they're still working keep them handy here because you never know when you need one that works at least uh, to finish a job I'm gonna wrap it up here it's 36 degrees outside today and it is stinking hot in here 
looks like I've been sweating. I have been. Um, I'm as far as I can go here until I have my piece uh, finished and my uh, cowl finished. Thanks for watching. Click clicky things. Don't forget to label your bolts and nuts and stuff when you take them off. <laughs> By the way, that motor is supposedly the same as this. See the heads of those bolts? This is what came out of this. <laughs> okay, uh, one last uh, update. This is looking great. This is hard, but I'm going to leave it there uh, until tomorrow. I'm not going to play with it. Uh, thanks for watching. Click clicky things, and uh, if you need to make a quick and dirty mold, this uh, gluten-free <laughs> modeling clay, it's great stuff.